Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, the installation of uh, one more important DevOps tool called Docker. So before going to the installation part, let me tell you the introduction about the Docker. So what is the importance of Docker? So using this Docker, the developers can package their applications along with their necessary libraries and dependencies including the configurations into a containers and what exactly these containers will do so the docker provides the tools and pl platform to create deploy and manage the container easily so if we develop a project and finally that project should be uh, deployed into the production systems that means the end user systems so in order to execute or in order to deploy the project in the end user systems we need to use the same dependencies and the same versions of softwares which are needed to execute the program so it is somewhat difficult to maintain the same set of versions for applications and the dependencies and all these things in order to avoid all these things what the developers will do means so as i said here the developers will collect all the related uh, installations or related applications or libraries or database everything into a single box called as a containers so if you observe the logo of docker a whale just holding the lot of containers so these containers are nothing but a different applications libraries dependencies and etc etc so in order to deploy the software or a project into the production system simply by using these containers we can perform the task now we will see in this session we will see how the docker can be installed so i will write a step by step the first step we have to go with we have to update the app get by using this command so app get update so that means whatever the applications we want to install in the linux that should be that will be available in the app apt and first that will be updated so every time we can use the latest versions so first let us finish that update so i'll go with the terminal here and here we'll give the update sudo app get update So once the complete updation has been done, then we have to go with the next process that is installation of Docker. Installation of Docker. So go with a sudo app install docker dot io. Okay. So sudo app install docker.io so this is a package which is related to our ubuntu linux so there is an error okay no need no no problem we'll go with an alternate way to install the docker so here i'll give the or simply use the conventional method sudo app get install docker so use the same thing sudo app get install docker so it will be installing our docker package okay uh, yes so let me uninstall it already i have installed this one sudo app remove uh, docker yes i am removing this one removing docker you can observe so already i have already installed the docker in my system so first i am uninstalling and then i'll show you how to install so sudo app get install docker now this will install our docker into your linux environment you can see setting up of docker so the following new packages will be installed see completed now you can check uh, again the next one is you have to install the snap okay so just install this one sudo snap install docker you have to execute both the things right both the commands so sudo snap install 
Docker. So Snap Docker is already installed. Okay, no problem. Next, uh, you can check the version of Docker. Okay, you can check the version. What is the version? What is the latest version? Right. So for that, go with the sudo docker double hyphen version. This will give the complete version of a Docker which has been installed in your environment. So sudo docker double hyphen and version. So you'll get the version of Docker. And you can check with the Docker images. What are the images available? So this is the image available here. And after completion of this, we have to add this Docker into the group. Adding Docker to group and change permissions. And this is most important. We have to do this one, right? So in order to do that, first command we have to go with uh, sudo docker sorry sudo group add docker use this one usually that during the installation itself that will be added into the group no problem so once again check with this one sudo group add docker so group docker already exists so during the installation of docker itself it will add into the group now we have to change the permissions for that folder so what is the command to change the permissions in uh, that is a ch mod, right so sudo uh, go with the ch mod and uh, give the permissions read write execute permissions okay and go with the var run and for the file docker dot sock so we are changing the permission for this folder right so sudo chmod read and write permissions where run and uh, docker dot sock so automatically the permissions has been done right now see one more thing just like our github there will be a repository public cloud repository called docker hub so you need to log in with that docker hub see so docker hub which is similar to our github right so just go with the uh, sign up to this particular uh, docker hub so where we can save the repositories and which can be shared among the different systems okay see so i have already logged in so you just click on this one and uh, log into that one with your own credentials and I'll show you see this is just like our github okay it's a cloud repository so I have I have given a two different repositories here uh, the repository name is Sandeep uh, the, the image name is a hello and image name is Jim so by using these repositories, you can execute or you can run the project in any system. Okay, see, Sandeep Saradi hyphen hello. So I'll I'll check here. I I will execute this one here. Right, uh, see. So sudo docker run. Give the repository name and give the image name. See, hello. So just wait. See, first step, unable to find image locally. So in our local system, it is not available. So it is just, it is pulling from Sandeep Sardi hyphen hello and see already the download will be done and the text here is this one. Welcome to Docker world. So that is the code I have written in that particular image file. So like that, you, you have to install the Docker in a command line as well as create an account in the Docker Hub. So this Docker Hub is used to collect the repositories and images. And this can be shared among a different developers. Right? So you can, once again, we'll check the version. So Docker, double hyphen, version. So yes, Docker version. And see, once you installed it, you can also use this Sandeep Sardi hyphen hello so that, that the same project will be executed in your system also. So once 
check and run this command sudo docker run sandeep sardi hyphen hello and uh, uh, just comment your result whether the content doc welcome to docker world has been displayed in your system or not so comment me okay so that i'll 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 be knowing whether you are understanding perfectly or not or it, the docker has been installed in your system perfectly or not right so hope you understood and we'll go in depth in this docker so we'll, we are going to use a different docker commands okay uh, in order to create an image and in order to push that image from the local uh, machine to the repository like a docker hub and all these things we'll see the different commands in our further sessions hope you enjoyed the session so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much